Today, I'm going to make one amazing signing from every league. But there are over 25 leagues in FIFA, and some of them are pretty terrible. We're going to have to sign players from the Irish League and even the Indian Super League. Oh, boy. The goal is to build an amazing team from players all around the world and see if we can win the Champions League. This wheel has got every major league on it, and we're going to spin it and see where we're going to make our first signing from. Ooh, where's it going to be? Is it going to be Spain? I think it is. It might just be Spain. There you go, our first signing signing is going to be from La Liga. To build this amazing team, we're going to give ourselves a budget of 1 billion. Now I know that sounds like a lot of money, but trust me, as we build a squad of 25 or more players, that money is going to run down pretty quickly. I'm so tempted to sign Benzema as our player from La Liga, but I think we need to strategize. I feel we could get good strikers from other leagues as well, but getting a ridiculously good midfielder like Pedri, I don't think it's possible from other leagues. And this is why I told you the one billion budget is gonna get wiped out so quickly a player like pedri is worth about 120 130 million there you go we're gonna have to spend 130 million to get pedri i'm gonna try and get this for a bit cheaper because we need money for all the other signings as well if we run out of money that's gonna be a big problem and so the first signing we're making to this all-star world team for 120 million is pedri would you look at that the budget is coming down quickly already and we've only just signed one player let's see which league we're heading for our next signing what is it gonna be be a good league oh no oh oh yes oh yes it's gonna be france let's go our luck is pretty good as we're getting to choose the best leagues first but that could mean a lot more pain down the line but for now let's sign a player from france and i think there is a certain Frenchman I've got in mind. Guys, do I really want to do this? Our budget is going to get destroyed, but killing Mbappe would just be unreal. I won't play him as a striker, but like a left winger. That's what we can do with Mbappe. He can play anywhere. Oh my God. I don't think we'll get a better opportunity than this to get a player like him. He could single-handedly maybe get us the Champions League. So let's do it. How much are we going to have to pay for him? I told you 1 billion is not going to be enough. 236 million for Mbappe. Is that some sort of a joke. We're gonna counter with 200 million, but this is getting crazy. Oh my god. And ultimately, after a bit of negotiations, 210 million is what we settle with. Kylian Mbappe has joined our team. Mbappe and Pedri together. I'm, I'm certainly excited. Okay, I think we've made a couple of crazy transfers so far, and our bank account is crying right now, so we might need to tone it down a bit, because if we run out of money before signing a player from every league, we automatically get disqualified. Is the streak of amazing Amazing country is going to continue. Where's our next signing going to be? Okay, I am. Is my geography bad? I can't even recognize that flag. Is that Austria? This is where things kind of get challenging for us. Who are we going to sign from the Austrian Bundesliga that can help us out? Wait, I'm pretty sure RB Salzburg played there, and boy, do they have some good players. You know what? There are some decent players in here that could potentially help us out. Ooh, Benjamin Sesko. He's a talent, boys. If we sign him, that is our backup striker sorted, and he's not really good gonna cost us all that much we're making the most out of this situation and so for nine million we've got a really good young high potential striker love that guys i think that's got to be the strategy when we get the big nations go big and sign the amazing players and then try and get some awesome deals when we get the not so famous leagues so far though the team is coming together nicely let's see where we're going to be signing our next amazing player from Ooh, are we heading to australia surely that's australia right uh, i thought it could be new Zealand, but now nah, that's australia Yo, I had no idea that Nani played in the A-League. That's perfect for us. He can be back up to killing Mbappe. And it only costed us 4 million to get Nani. Coming up next, which league are we going to sign a player from? Ooh, we're going to South Korea. That's going to be interesting. Of course, if we could have signed Hyungman Son, that would have been nice. But he's playing in the Premier League. So let's see who else we can get. Okay, this is where things start to get a bit problematic. Because the K-League does not have literally anyone half decent. Who do we end up signing? I would have honestly rather not signed any anyone but for 3 million Dave Baltuis looks like the only decent player there he's actually 74 rated 32 year old center back I guess the only thing he can provide is a bit of experience so far we've signed five players from five different leagues and our budget is down to 
minus 634 million. That isn't too bad. And let's see how we can keep building this squad. I think it's time we start focusing more on our defense. I mean, it all kind of depends on the wheel and which country is it going to be sending us to next. Ooh, the Belgian League. There might be some hidden gems in there. So I'm, I'm kind of excited to see. After a bit of scouting, I actually found two players that could be good for our team. First one, Toby Alderweireld. You know him from the Premier League. He's now playing for Royal Antwerp FC. We can sign him. He's 82 rated and pretty good. The other option is a bit of a meme. Simon Mignolet, who remembers him from his Bruh. Liverpool days making mistakes. But yeah, he's still a decent keeper. We could get him, but honestly, I'm feeling like Toby Alderweireld. In case we don't get better centre-backs, he's someone I think we can rely on. Although I had to pay about 15 million to sign him, which is steep considering he's 34. But hey, it is what it is. The next nation we're going to get. Oh, it's I think a big one for one particular reason. Saudi League up next. You know who I'm going to sign. Cristiano Ronaldo made the move to Al Nasser playing in the Saudi League and it is the perfect signing for us to make. Bro, we're so freaking lucky. Saudi League popped up right now. Let, let's do this. And the thing is, because Ronaldo is 37, we can get him for like 30 million or something, I think. That's going to be absolutely brilliant. There you go. Our goal is to build an amazing team and win the Champions League and who better to sign than Mr. Champions League himself for 30 million? Ronaldo joins our team. I just realized Ronaldo and Nani are going to be playing together once again. I hope this time Nani doesn't steal Ronaldo's goal. Otherwise, I think we might have some dressing room fights. Guys, I think we need to chill out on the attackers. Maybe we need some midfielders and defenders too. So let's focus on that as well. Before we continue making amazing signings, one amazing thing you guys could do to make my day is subscribing to the channel. So yeah, please do it. The next league we're going to have to sign a player from is the MLS. And I think they do have a few good veterans. I've actually found three good players from the MLS that could help us out. Giorgio Chiellini, that's a defender. We need one. Insigne, uh, because we've signed so many attackers. Otherwise, I think he would have been the best pick. And Ricky Puig, because of his age, might have been useful. But I think because I want to get a good defender in, Chiellini is that guy. And we just signed Chiellini for 5 million, which I think is a steal. Oh no, it's going to be the Indian Super League or the Irish League, whichever it is. It's awful. Who do we get from the Indian Super League even? Oh my god. This is going to be one of the worst players we could ever sign. Yep, just, just look at the overalls, boys. Just look at the overalls. This is going to be horrendous. Hugo Bumus was like the only good player in the ISL. To be fair, this, this guy isn't that great, but you know what? Maybe off the bench he could do something for us. Plus, yeah, that's the Indian Super League player ticked off. Okay, we've now had a couple of leagues that have really not helped us all that much, so that needs to change. And ooh, the Dutch League. That's good. There are some ballers in the Dutch League. This is so unfair. There are so many good players in the Eredivisie. Oh, uh, like Bergwijn would have been great, but we're not looking for attackers now, so he can chill out. Mohamed Kudus is a baller. You saw him at the World Cup. He was unreal. But I'm honestly feeling getting a CDM is the better play because I don't know if I can get a better CDM than these two from the other leagues. But who do I choose here? Ibrahim Sangare or Edson Alvarez? I've never used Sangare and he's been linked to a lot of big clubs. So I think let's go for him. Ooh, I just realized that he's going to be a bit expensive. We've not made an expensive signing in a while, so I think it's fine. Let's start with 36. Well, we're settling at 39. Ibrahim Sangare for 39 million, I think is going to be a very key player in this squad. With Mbappe and Ronaldo up top, we need someone to hold the fort, and I think he's that guy. We now almost have a full first team of players we've signed from different leagues. We still need fullbacks, a goalkeeper, and definitely some upgrades, but things are going well. Ooh, we're going to be heading next to Norway, the country of Erling Haaland, to find our next signing. For 6 million, I found Patrick Berg. And tell you what, he doesn't look all too bad, you know. Could be good backup for Sangare. We still need a good goalkeeper, but none of the leagues are popping up that can give me a good goalkeeper. We're, we're heading to Poland next, and I don't think we're getting one from there. No disrespect to the Polish league, but there's not a single player, I think, here that can really help us out. So I'm thinking, let's just have a bit of fun and sign a legend like Lucas Podoski. I don't know if Podoski is going to play a single game for us, but hey, it only costed us one million. We needed to sign a player from the Polish league. Why not have a bit of fun? I'm actually intrigued to see if Lucas Podoski can end up scoring even one goal for us. I'd see that as a win. We definitely need some upgrades in our midfield defense and even the goalkeeper position. And I'm hoping we can start doing that. But who are we going to find from China? Huh. Here 
Here I am thinking of building a team to win the Champions League, but from these leagues, we're not gonna get those kind of players. Forgive me for disrespecting the Chinese Super League. I completely forgot they had some ballers in there like Oscar. Bro, this is perfect for us. 16.5 million for Oscar. I didn't expect to be spending this much money for a Chinese Super League player, but I completely forgot that they had signed some really good players in there. So this works out perfectly for us. Not gonna lie, guys. Our squad is coming together. The attack is awesome. The midfield is decent. But it's really those fullback positions and goalkeeper positions where if we don't improve, it's not gonna matter. We're gonna get destroyed in the Champions League. So we have 12 leagues more to sign players from and they better be good. Ooh, the Portuguese League. This is one that could be immense for us. But we have a really tough choice to make because Grimaldo is in the Portuguese League playing for Benfica and that is the perfect fullback we need. On the other hand, Diogo Costa would be the perfect goalkeeper as well because he's only 22 and over the season he's going to keep getting better. The question is, do I want to go for a really good fullback or a really good goalkeeper? Ah, oh, this is so tough. And I have chosen Diogo Costa for 50 million. That is our goalkeeper position sorted. I'm already feeling a bit of regret. Maybe we should have gone for Grimaldo. Let me know who you would have picked. Yo, I just realized we've depleted more than half our budget. We're left with 450 million and we still need to sign 11 players basically another team and leagues like the premier league and the bundesliga are still left so but it's gonna be tough that money i told you it's gonna be close 11 countries left and let's see where the wheel is gonna send us next we need a left back and okay it might be time to go big because we've just got the premier league we've got 451 million but i think this is the major league that we need to spend a lot of cash in even though guys we're kind of desperate for a fullback i really want to just sign kevin de Bruyne. Now, can you imagine if we had KDB in that midfield? Oh my days. Do I do it? But then we're going to really struggle without a fullback. Oh, it's such a tough one. The logical choice really is to sign someone like Trent Alexander-Arnold. That's going to be our right back position sorted. Do you know what? I might end up regretting this, but I want Kevin De Bruyne in my team and I'm willing to spend big money. Okay, I said I was ready to spend money, but now that I think about it, De Bruyne is going to cost us over 100 million. Oh my God, upwards of 120. 20 million. This is bad. Let's see if we can get it down to 115 million. We can, but this was expensive. And so we complete the signing of Kevin De Bruyne for 115 million. Our signing from the Premier League. I just felt like it was the right thing to do, but now from other signings, we need it to be fullbacks. Okay, guys, just look at that midfield that we've built with Pedri and De Bruyne. That is unreal. We've so far signed players from 15 different leagues. 10 more to go, but we're running out of money boys 321 million for 10 players is not enough and we still have a lot of upgrades that we need to make the next league to pop up i think is gonna be the scottish league and i think rangers and celtic do have a few really good players this should be interesting james tavernier from rangers was literally perfect for our team we needed a right back and he's got decent stats not bad at all and for 12 million we've got this deal done actually i realized we could really do with better defenders as well there's just so many improvements we can make but i'm not sure the next league is going to help us improve all that much do romania have any good players okay i can confirm the talent in romania is pretty average i don't think we're going to benefit by signing anyone from here although simon scoffett could be a good backup keeper i just found him when i was browsing and if you guys remember at one point he was like a high potential talent in career mode i think he could be a good backup keeper and it's only going to cost us two million so that's a done deal the only thing we we really need i feel is high quality fullbacks and maybe better defenders oh i also forgot we're lacking a right winger because all we've got is nanny in that position there is still work to do and we do have about 300 million so let's keep building this team we definitely have some interesting nations with a few really good players but are we gonna get that like germany and italy are still left but we're gonna get argentina i think they do have a few good players which we can take advantage of okay guys i think i was wrong the argentina Argentinian league isn't looking all that exciting. Maybe because all of the best Argentinians are playing in Europe. So let's just see what we can get. Don't know what, Frank Fabra? We need a fullback. Might as well get one now. I only paid like 5.4 million for him, but I still feel like I got robbed. But hey, we needed a fullback. We got one. The good thing with that signing is we now have a full first team from players from different leagues. How crazy is that? Look at it. We've got Ronaldo from the Saudi league, Mbappe from the French league, Fabra from the Argentinian league. Like, I love it, but this 
squad still isn't good enough to win the Champions League, we've got work to do. I wouldn't mind some of the popular nations popping up right now because we do need to improve the team. Ah, the Turkish League. Well, Galatasaray might have a few good players. Let's see. I had completely forgotten about this, but Nicolo Zaniolo plays for Galatasaray. This is perfect. He's a center forward, but I think we can convert him to a right winger. Oh no, but we can't buy him because his team will not sell him, but we can only get him through his release clause. I guess we're spending 50 million on him. Hopefully, we won't be running out of our money. And so for 53.5 million, Saniolo joins our team. Let's find out where are we heading next. Come on, give me Germany or Italy. Ah, Switzerland. Nobody from the Swiss Super League was going to end up helping us, so I just joined Mario Balotelli. Let's have some fun. The funny thing is he actually gets on our bench, which is a bit wild. I would really appreciate a good league popping up right now. Like, Germany would be perfect. Come on, come on, make it to Germany. Yes, let's go. We're going to sign someone from the Bundesliga, and this is important. You just know we're signing a player from Bayern Munich. It just has to be. And who the options? Jao Cancelo. We've been looking for a good fullback, and this could be it. But Alfonso Davies? Oh my goodness. Or oh, what if we want to get someone like Musiala? Manuel Neuer and Gold Sane? The options are absolutely plenty. But you know what? I'm feeling Alfonso Davies. The vibes. That's our left back sorted. Let's get him. Ooh, but he's going to drain our cash a fair bit. We need to see if we can get a deal on him. 60 million? Nope. We're going to have to shell out 78 at least. What about 70 million for Davies? That'll leave us with good money for our remaining signings. Okay, we'll work with 72. With that, guys, our left back position is absolutely sorted. Welcome, Davies. The signing of Davies has got us down to 157 million. We still need to make four signings, so I think we're looking okay. And boys, the team with Davies, oh, it's looking real nice. Couple more great signing and we're sorted. The next nation we got, Sweden. Sadly, the Swedish league didn't really have any good players, so I just ended up signing the best one possible, Anders Christensen. We got him for a million. Next up, Denmark. Once again, we didn't really have anyone that was going to really improve the team, so we just signed Daniel Was, who was playing for a Danish club, and we got him for five million, which isn't too bad. Two countries to go, Italy and Ireland. Which one are we going to sign a player from first? Of course, it's the Irish League. If I'm being honest, boys, I don't think I've ever seen a league be so bad in any FIFA. My God, is the Irish League terrible. I just don't know why. Is the quality really bad? Let's just, for, for the jokes, sign the worst possible player. Would you believe it, guys? I've just signed a 46-rated player to our team. This is bad. Nathan Logue is 46-rated. We literally gave him 500 pounds per week as his wage, and we signed him for like 100k. But you never know. He might just end up scoring a goal here or there. We'll see. The final signing is gonna be from the Serie A. One last signing to go, and we've got the money to sign whoever we want. And I can't lie, a defender or even a right back would be absolutely incredible. Let's see who's the final signing. For me, guys, it's between Milan Skriniar and Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Both of them, funnily enough, have made transfers to non-Serie A clubs. But since in real life they play for Serie A, it counts. But guys, what about Bastoni? Ooh, I like this. I like this because over the season, I think he can draw really well. Let's do it. For 70 million, we complete our final signing with Alessandro Bastoni, and that means our squad is complete. This is it, guys. We've built a squad where every player is from a different league. 25 players all coming in from different leagues, and I think the squad's incredible with players like De Bruyne, Ronaldo, and Mbappe. We're simming through the season to see if we can win the Champions League with a different player from every league. Okay, guys, firstly, in the Premier League, we managed to finish in the top four, which I think is pretty incredible. Considering we had a player from the Indian Super League and all in our side. But yeah, we managed to do pretty well. But no FA Cup or Carabao Cup, so we don't end up winning a trophy or lies in the Champions League. Okay, so we finished second in our group, but we did have Napoli in it. Round of 16. Ooh, we knocked out Sporting. That is a big win, I think. Moving on. Oh, Man City knock us out in the quarterfinals. So, the World 11 that we've built, a player from every league. Champions League quarterfinals is what we could do. Kylian Mbappe carried. Let's be honest, he really did. Maybe I made a few wrong signings. A better defender, a better right back could have helped us out. Who knows? But if you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you'll enjoy me signing one amazing player from every Premier League club. Click here to watch that.